Game resumed.
<laughs> Red is, well, Harston played that fantastically. That's the big thing that we've got was, to say. That Harston, was a, just a fantastic game by Harston. He was dropping, harassing, pushing at the right times, base shot trading at the same right times, mass recalling at the perfect moment. Harston played that brilliantly. Brilliance is the only word that comes to mind uh, to anyone, uh, basically, after uh, who, who saw this game. I'm almost lost for words. That was exactly just brilliant. And, you know, Harston's play, it was, most of all, what it was, it was so smart. Yeah. He played that match uh, on Daybreak really, really intelligently. He approached the game and he stopped. It, it sort of seems to me that he stopped trying to solve the issue of how do I beat this guy? And instead he started thinking, how do I outsmart this guy so that he beats himself? The thing with Red is he, he wants to sit back. He wants to macro up, get somewhat out of a death ball army down and just move across the map and take a head-on engagement. What Harston did was identify that and say, guess what, I'm gonna harass you every way I can. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna get DT, Zealots, I'm gonna push with my army in another base. At one point, he was attacking four bases simultaneously. That's taxing on anyone's multitasking, especially when one of those attacks is a main army. And Red just, he didn't have an answer to it, and that in itself is a bit of a problem. So. Red, he's just going to take a quick break, and I think that's a really smart move on his part, because he was winning really quite comfortably. He didn't lose a single yeah. game to Harsom. He's now dropped yeah. two in a row. Step back, stretch your legs, think about it, clear your head, come back, fresh mind, fresh game, and come back fighting. That's what Red's got to be trying to do. So I believe that we're going to be having something come up on stage while yeah. we go for this quick break, as far as I'm aware. That hasn't materialized yet, so it may happen in the near future. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Of course, big shout out to all of the Dutch Starcraft League sponsors. We do have CM Storm, Western Digital, and LP.NL, and finally Paradigit. They are, of course, all sponsors of this event. They are, of course, all absolutely brilliant. And of course, don't forget Aver Media. I mean, they were the ones giving, yeah. uh, uh, giving the cars to everybody as prizes and uh, yeah. giveaways. So, you know, I mean, we have a whole bunch of companies that decided that they're going to put their money into this because they thought, yeah, this is, this is a good event. And just judging by how many people turned out for this event, I mean... Well, we can do the simple test. We, we, have, a full, simple we test. have a full hall right here. Right okay, so we're going to go to a quick break. So we'll be right back after that quick break. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be back in a few. Oh. Did you say 10? Oh, what? 10 minutes? Okay. 